<clears throat> All right. Shalom, shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. First and foremost, call halal, wa kabad, al Yahweh, ba shem Yahweh shai, all praise and glory to the heavenly father, whose true and proper name is Yahweh, in the name of the Lord and Savior of the nation of Israel, whose true and proper name is Yahweh shai, ba shem chakadash, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to my apostles and my elders of the great millstone who lead, teach me real well. Love and honors my fellow Aki, pushing the word and truth, faith, sincerely across the four corners. Inshallah, peace and blessings to the sincere listeners who listen and subscribe to the men Dr. Ray Millstone. This is Brother Yadav from Jemus Atlanta Church coming with another spiritual in transit. Um, I'm going to title it through the spirit. The mark of the beast is coming. Don't take the chip. You know, <clears throat> because um, I was actually meditating on some other, a couple of other themes or topics, but um, throughout the course of, of this day, uh, which is April 12th, 2019, the year of Karagma, so yes, the spirit, April 12th, 2019, the year of Karagma, <clears throat> the spirit had me watch a couple of uh, things on YouTube. Um, uh, one, one, one thing that um, I watched was the elder, the elder Kazak from Mississippi, he uh, re-uploaded a video um, going to this documentary um, of this uh, this journalist or this reporter taking pretty much taking the mark of the beast, which is mark of the beast. Once again, pursuant to Revelation 13 chapter, um, the mark of the beast is uh, the RFID microchip, man, the RFID um, radio frequency identification ID chip identification chip in um, in the West. OK, in in the East, Europe and in the East. It's the uh, NFC, the, the near field communication chip, you know, and this, like I said, um, the, the, the elder had, uh, I posted a video, okay, going to this journalist who was, um, you know, uh, pretty much going into, you know, the RFID um, microchip, microchip uh, technology, all right, the uh, biohacking, okay, um, biometric technology okay and um coupling that earlier with i saw a press conference it was a press conference by um president donald donald j trump going into how uh he, his administration is going to really push hard um the the rollout of, of a more uh full rollout so to speak of uh the five the five G technology in which, you know, through through the spirit power and mercy of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, he's revealed to to us. Okay, starting with the apostles and elders and the and the head men in uh, in these camps, you know, trickling down to to us younger men, uh, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai has revealed to us that that uh, the the progression of that technology being the five G. The fifth generation technology, as far as the um, you know wireless communication, okay, that that's another step forward into bringing into bringing into um, effect the Internet of Things, in which a part a big a big piece of the Internet of Things, okay, or, or an end goal, and that's and that's really one thing. That's really something that I kind of want to speak about is the end the end goals the end goals of Esau Edom's. Um, rulership and kingdom okay because you know us lord willing you know being the the seers the prophets of the heavenly father yahweh yahweh shai us having a, a more intimate okay and uh close relationship to the heavenly father you know through yahweh shai and the one who the world ignorantly called jesus christ we see a uh, uh, a multitude of prophecies coming to pass all right pursuing the again have for the second chapter. You know, we see a a multitude of these prophecies coming to pass. You know, and sometimes it's easy to get lost in that because, it, you know, with us having a a heightened sensitivity, so to speak, um, a heightened a heightened spiritual antenna, and, and having a heightened sensitivity through our spiritual antenna to the prophecies that are given to us in the holy scriptures. All right. Um, Pursuant to um, so Revelation uh, 19, 
19 and 10, I believe. Okay. Um, the testimony of Yahweh Shah being a spirit of prophecy, us having a more intimate access. Okay. And being, and being closer. Okay. To, to understand the prophecies that are written in, in the Holy scriptures. Okay. Sometimes it's easy for us to get lost, lost in the fray, so to speak, you know, because we, we, we see so many things coming to pass where, oh, that's, pro that's, that's prophecy, that's prophecy, that's prophecy, that's prophecy. There's certain things coming, then you try to dissect it, you know, using the spiritual filter, okay, given to us through scriptures. And in doing that, sometimes you almost lose sight of the, 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 the key fundamental building blocks of, um, what we have to look out for, okay? And one of those key fundamental building blocks of things we have to look out for, man, is the implementation of the mark of the beast, man. Okay, because there's still a, a great number of people today who may may or may not understand that prophecy, okay, but also have to one be be taught and introduced to that prophecy. That prophecy being once again the implementation of the Internet of Things, ultimately ultimately leading to the mark of the beast. Uh, being made mandatory, okay, and also understanding that if they do take that mark, take that mark, pursuant to biblical prophecy, they're gonna surely be put to death, man, okay, and and Lord willing, I'm gonna remember to put a link to um uh the uh, the Zaquans, you know, the elder um Kazak's video in the description box because one thing one thing that people really underestimate. You know, a lot of people in the scriptures speak about that, man, not tempting the heavenly father, man. Don't not being a tempter. OK. And, and not um, moving in a rebellious spirit, man. You know, because one thing that people underestimate is the pull. OK. And the influence and really the, the complete condemnation that's going to come along with taking that chip, man. You know, even with even with the journalist, you know, uh, he, he stated at, at one point that he took he took that um, RFID microchip. But he's saying pretty much that, you know, they had an agreement that at the end of the day, if he wanted to take it out, he could take it out. Then they also they also asked and this and this and they have went to um, four, four, four square market, I believe is the name of the company, um, that company in Wisconsin that offered to um, chip their employees for free, you know, and then gave them little, you know, certain perks. And which, man, let's let's be real, man. Those perks that come with the RFID technology at this at this particular point in time, they're ass, man. Okay, you can open a door, you can you can unlock your car. You know, if if you get the, if you you know progress it, you might be able to start your car. These these are things they're gonna be trying to do in the future. You can use a, a fucking printer, all right. You could uh, buy buy some snacks from the vending machine. I mean, like, come on, man. That's not even anything to really get caught up or enamored in, okay? But even, and that, that goes to show a certain point as well, even with just those basic, those basic um, applications and using the RFID chip, this journalist decided at the end of the day, you know what, I'm just gonna keep the chip. And that's what's gonna happen to a majority of people who are gonna try to, that's what's gonna happen to, let's say all these people, man, because it's biblical prophecy, man. Scripture said if you take that, if you take that mark in your right hand or your forehead, you're gonna be surely put to death, man. All right, you got a lot of people who are gonna, who are gonna think, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just take this chip, and then you know, when I, when I feel the Messiah coming closer, or you know, or if I feel something different, I'm gonna take it out. Listen, man, if you don't have, if you don't have the faith to know that that's the mark of the beast, because that that's being one of the last major end time prophecies, you know, before the destruction of America. All right, uh, by the way of thermonuclear missiles, if you don't have enough faith to uh, resist that chip, man, okay. Uh, you know, understanding, knowing that that is the mark of the beast, you're not gonna, you're not gonna, end, you're not gonna have enough faith to even desire to take it out, man. You're gonna, you're gonna stay chipped up, man. You know. But I said that to say that even with the basic applications in which they they offered to uh, to that journalist in, with with that chip, okay, and then even asking the the other the other employees, a couple other employees who already who agreed to take the who agreed to take the chip, they were like, I'm just gonna keep it. OK, and that's what the ba that's what the basics of this technology being rolled out. And then once again, I'm going to couple that with that um, press conference that I saw today on YouTube with uh, President Donald J. Trump, you know, and, and unrolling, um, uh, continuing to unroll 
and push the 5G uh, uh, implementation of the 5G technology, man. Okay, because as they increase this 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 um the spectrum and this bandwidth, okay, they're gonna have more power, okay, in order to do more, in order to connect more things to the internet, okay, in order to have more uh, capabilities and more tracking, and it's gonna you know they're gonna be able to produce more revenues in order to um actually progress, so to speak. What what people are gonna be able to do when they take when they take that chip, man, take that that mark of the beast, okay, and that's why uh, all, everyone, these people who, who who take this chip, they're not going to take it out, okay? Because taking that chip shows a lack of faith, okay, in Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So that lack of faith, you are you already condemn, you already condemn. You can't even the scripture speak about it, you're not you can't serve two masters. If you serve two masters, you're gonna surely hate one and love the other, man. All right, if you if you bow down to um. The, this this market this this beast system or okay or the image of the beast you can't serve your house by shimmy house shot man all right you're pretty much saying that you're going to be esau's bitch man <laughs> you know this point blank period man and that and that's the and that's the the, the truth of the matter man okay that's the that's say the scriptures okay and that's why it's so important for us to really put it in our spirit that we 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 have to just hope and pray and it's and, and taking the chip in our in our in our spirit in our mind we have to really program our, begin to program ourselves, if not already, and if you have a continuation to program yourself more and more, and saying that you know what, no matter what happens, I'm not taking that chip, man. Okay, because by taking that chip, especially especially for for those of us who have entered into the service and the ministry of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, taking that chip is going to guarantee that you're not going to be a member of the 144,000, man. All right, there's nothing that Esau Edom that's going into uh, like how uh, Satan tempted Yahweh Shai. Okay. There's nothing that Esau Edom can offer you in this kingdom that's going to be worthy of the glory and majesty that is to come in the kingdom of heaven, okay? Especially if you're the 144,000 elect member, uh, member uh, governing body, man, okay? But I say all that to say that this mark of the beast is coming very, very quickly, man, okay? Quicker than we, than we probably even expect, okay? Because Esau, Esau knows that his time is getting shorter and shorter, man, okay? We just, just like in, 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 uh, men, men and elders speak about it, you know, pretty often as well. Just like we get, we have, uh, uh, things that Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shah does, uh, to and for us in the spirit on the right hand side, same thing on the left hand side, in which Esau knows, okay, Ephesians 6 chapter, Esau knows through, um, his connection, okay, with really the spiritual demon Satan, all right, you know, yeah, the spirit of demon Satan, okay, and other um, left hand or so called wicked um, uh, demons, okay, or spirits, he knows that his time is running out, man. And that's why, and that's why not only um, are they are they getting ready to really, they, they're already, they've already begun, they've already begun the pre program, okay? That's why it's even, that's why it's, that's why it's uh, even possible for us to speak on certain certain um companies such as uh three three square market man okay it's that's because it, it's already out there as far as this is the way that this is the way that esau Edom is planning on going that's another comment that the uh the journalist made he said pre said pretty much the microchip is coming why resist it because these people are without these people are um purposely left blind and ignorant by uh the will of yahweh by shim yahweh shai or if they if they're of our nation, okay, they're they're just purposely cast out cast out, um, in in this generation, man. And that just is what it is, man. You know. So I'm gonna say that, I'm gonna wrap up by saying we have to just understand that the mark of the beast, the mark of the beast, okay, which the mark of the beast is the RFID or NFC implantable mark, microchip, okay, and that in the, in the um. An implementation of the so-called new world order system, okay? One world, one world government, one world religion, which would be Satanism, okay? Uh, uh, cash in society, okay? Um, uh, population control, all those things that come along with the, the, the plan of the so-called Illuminati, okay? The new world order, okay? Is, uh, is quickly approaching, man, okay? So we have to really Pursuant to Matthew 25th chapter, man, we have to be those wise virgins 
who are who are actively uh, preparing our preparing our light, okay, and, and uh, trimming our lamps, trimming trimming or preparing our, our lamps, okay, for the, the the time of darkness that is to come. All right, Jeremiah thirty and seven, okay. So I'm gonna end off there. I hope we praise lesson was edifying. Once again, call Halal Wakabad Al Yahweh by Shem Hamashai by Shem Kakudash. All praise and glory to the heavenly Father, true by the name of Yahweh. In the name of the Lord and Savior, nation of Israel, true by the name of Yahweh Shai. In the name of the Holy Spirit. Devil honest to my apostles, my elders, a great millstone will lead to true wealth. Devil honest to you, Aki, my Aki, you know, pushing the, uh, the truth and faithful city across the four corners. Until next time, Shalom.